Police have swooped on a Goolwa home for the second time in only hours as they searched for a gun after an eight-hour siege. Residents kept from their homes as officers arrested a 29-year-old man wanted over a violent armed robbery. Police again swooped on the scene of the standoff this morning, questioning the occupants of the Elder Street home and searching for a gun they believe their suspect may have left behind. He is a relative of tenant Diane Wilson, who was left to survey the damage caused when heavily armed police stormed the house. How does it make you feel looking at the damage? I was devastated. Police say the high-risk operation meant Star Group officers had to force entry to end the standoff just after nine last night, arresting Luke Brandon. <laughs> oh no. The siege started just after one o'clock. They were all suited up, they had guns, they were armed. Um, I walked out and they asked me who else was here, I said me and my niece. But so too was the man police were looking for and for eight hours officers tried to negotiate with him. Some locals evacuated, others blocked from returning home. Things like that usually don't happen here. It was a big shock. An officer took up a post from Ernie Keach's backyard. And he was looking out of the fence. And he watched the incident unfold. It's scary. Oh, they had torches going everywhere. Luke did try to escape, jumping two fences. He was caught hiding in Anthony Chester's backyard. Yeah, it was underneath the tarp apparently. There was like 10 or 20 Star Force dudes here. The standoff was sparked because the 29-year-old was wanted by police in relation to an aggravated robbery, allegedly at Knife Point here in Goolwa earlier this month. Today he faced court charged with a range of offences in relation to that incident. Harvey Biggs, Nine News.